Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to me. So today I'm going to show you how I tack up for jumping. So this is Teddy. He's my 18 year old show jumping horse. He's very chilled and very, very nice to tack up. Um, just a quick disclaimer, I only learned how to tack up for jumping probably in the last couple of months. So I am by no means an expert and I'm sort of just winging it, but this is what works for me and this is what feels the most secure and the best for me. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get going. So when I tack up, whether it's for dressage, jumping, hacking, anything, I always give the horses a brush first to remove any dirt, dust, shavings that might get in the way and that could irritate them under the saddle pad and the saddle. Um, Teddy has been rolling in poo a lot and he also has been out in the field and it's been raining a lot in England so it's been really muddy so he was particularly dusty today I did give him a brush before that so he looks fairly clean but the amount of dust coming off this horse was crazy I always pay special attention to under where the girth will go under his tummy because if you don't brush there and there's dust or there's some shavings it can really irritate their skin once the girth is fastened i also make sure to do all four legs because i put boots on him and i don't want anything to get trapped so i brush both that sides evenly i normally brush the horse's face but teddy is a little bit head shy and i can't normally get near his face with a brush no matter how gentle i am so that's not a battle I try and I try and fight every day. <laughs> so brushing the legs as you can see here, a little quick flick back on the top, and then it's time to brush his tail and his mane. His tail and his mane looked really clean today, so I'm not sure why I even bothered to go back over it, but you know, why not? I did also already pre-pick his feet, so don't come at me for not picking his feet out. They were done when he came in from the field because I didn't want to put him in his bed when they were all muddy and horrible. Um, his tail was actually good, so quick flick onto his mane. Like I said, he is a bit head shy, so even just doing his mane, he's not the biggest fan of, but he was quite a good boy today. Bless him. Try and put everything back so I don't have to clean up later. But now it's on to get his tack. So boots first. We normally leave the boots outside the stable because then it's just easier to know which boots are for which horse because we they have a set pair each. So these are tendon boots and they are quite hard shelled. So I do like to put these boots on Teddy for jumping just to protect his legs as he licks them up and he when he lands, um, he steps really far so I don't want him to catch himself when he lands in the jumping so I love these boots I'm not actually sure what make they are but I absolutely love them they are really good the back ones are half the size of the front ones and I did recently find out that show jumping boots can sometimes pinch their legs so I make sure I put them on fairly loose obviously it's tight enough to not come off, but loose enough that they don't pinch Teddy too hard because he is very good with his legs. He really does not need um, to be pinched. As you can see, my little dog was standing there watching everything I was doing, and I didn't realise till I was uh, voicing over this video. So onwards to get the tack. I normally do get it out first, but I was being a bit lazy today, so I left it in the tack room and I went to go get it. Um, so Teddy has his bridle, martingale, he has a saddle and a gel pad, and I couldn't actually figure out which was his saddle pad at first, because I didn't know if it was there on the left or on the right, and then I was like, is this a jumping one? I can't tell. I was like, do you think that's a jumping? because we have black heart saddle pads and I usually wear black a lot, so I was just a little bit confused. So the tack I use on Teddy did actually come with him. So that saddle was fitted and made specifically for this horse and um, the martingale, the bridle every, and the bit, everything came with him. So I did think it's probably not best to change anything until I know him much better, until I know what I'm doing a little bit more. 
Um, I always start with the saddle pad now that he's been brushed off nice and neat. So pop that on, nice position. When I'm happy with that, I'll go and put the gel pad on. As I said, his saddle has been fitted for him, so he doesn't really need a gel pad, but he is 18 and I just want to protect his back and it's a nice thin one and it does fit nicely with the saddle. So a little bit of extra cushion for him. I actually love this saddle. It's really comfy and I'm, I've never had brown tack in my life, but I love it. It's super comfy and it fits him like a glove. But I always um, rearrange, make sure I'm happy with where the saddle pad sits, where, the, where it is so it's not on his wither. And then I'll go around and try and sort it out. So this girth is like the oldest girth in the world. I think it was my mum's eventing girth, but it is the one that seems to fit them all well. So it's quite old, but it does fit and it does the job. Um, I don't actually go and I, fa I don't fasten the girth yet because he does have a martingale which needs to thread through and there's just no point in, in doing it and then re-undoing re it and then doing it again. So I had a little bit of technical difficulty trying to take that clip off, even though it should be fast release. And then I, I have to be really careful when I put this on because otherwise I can get the martingale twisted and because it's not second nature for me, um, I find it really confusing to try and fix once I've put it on wrong. So I do try and keep it all in the perfect position so it just slots on him nicely. And like I said, he is a bit head shy, so I have got to be very careful when I put the bridle on because I don't want him to get scared or freak out and, at all. As you can see, we are using a Waterford bit. And I do know that these are known as a harsh kind of bit, but he did come with it and I didn't want to change anything until I knew him better. So it, it was not the kind of bit I would have chosen myself. I much prefer softer ones. However, once jumping Teddy um, around a course once, he got so fast and forward and strong. He was literally like a tank. So I couldn't stop him. So I decided not to change it because I needed that extra um, bit if I needed to halt him or stop him at any point. And I do kind of think it is the rider, not the bit. Um, I do ride with very soft hands where possible. So he doesn't have a lot of pressure on his mouth, but it is there when I need to stop him. I have been doing more dressage on Teddy recently. So when I do that, I just use a loose um, a loose ring snaffle and it's so soft and nice on his mouth. So yeah, not the bit I would have chosen, but it does work well for us at the moment. When doing the bridle, I always start at the bottom um, I start with the noseband first, then the flash, and then the throat lash. And you always need to make sure that you can fit about four or five fingers there so you don't um, choke your horse. So with a martingale, it is a running martingale, but I wasn't really sure why we needed one with Teddy because, you know, he's a very good horse and he doesn't seem to throw his head up before a jump. But I figured, you know, this has been his tack for a long time. He is 18 years old. He's very used to what he gets. So I'm not going to change anything until I see a reason to do so. And it does actually feel quite nice to have a martingale um, just for that little bit of extra security, just until I know him even better. Also, um, he does have a breastplate on the martingale, but I read up on it recently and it is for the reason of not letting the saddle slip back when they jump and he does have a really lovely expressive jump so I don't see any reason to take it off just yet. I always make sure to then secure the uh, straps in place on the saddle once I've done the girth and everything like that. As you can see Teddy was standing very nice and patiently. I would normally recommend having them tied up or somebody holding them but obviously he was being a very good boy so it didn't bother me. So yeah, once I get that fastened up, I am nearly done. And I just want to say, you know, if I've done anything that anyone thinks is wrong, that is fine. We all tack up a different way. We all have a different style. And this seems to work for us. And, you know, Teddy's happy and I'm happy. So that is how I tack up for jumping. So I'm going to go and ride him now and have a little jump. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, 
please do drop me a like and subscribe to me. I would really appreciate it, but thank you for watching.